welcome back to Infra. All this last episode, we've been making our way down this river, investigating all the infrastructure along the way, and finding out that not only is it in a much more miserable state than we previously believed, but there may actually be something much bigger going on here. The owner of the Hammer Valley Dam, Alex Hartman, actually believes that there's like a multi-decades conspiracy involving one of the city's founders, Jeff Walter. Now, how far do we actually trust that? I'm actually not sure at this moment, because I think that something revealed this early on is going to be something of a red herring. Uh, but the only way we're ever going to know for sure is if we look around some more. Oh, the way that darkness looked, I thought that this might be a cave. But there are plenty of different directions we can look, starting, of course, uh, with this building here. Missing my dock. My dock? Last seen on, she disappeared something, drank too much mushroom tea, she's made of wood and has blue pontoons, reward tea party with me and my dock at my place. Please call this- Oh! This is what some of you guys were talking about. You actually uh, told me that this poster, although in a much more low-res form, is on a wall in Open Sewer. Oh, well, that's neat. Uh, but now we're going to get the opportunity to do some real... Oh, it smells like something died in here. Urban exploration. All right, let's keep looking. That might be why. That might be why. You know what? Just, just for the sake of it. Just for the sake of it. Uh, even that makes me feel gross. We're not wearing gloves. <laughs> oh, hey, it actually works. Huh. That feels like the kind of thing that should get me an achievement. Maybe I already have it. I don't know. Hmm. Looks like uh, somebody had a little hobo set up in here for a while. Empty case of beer, but no, no beer cans inside. Up oh, there they are. I should have known. Did we unlock that? Do we have the key? What the fuck? Is oh. That a corpse? Oh. I'm gonna wait outside. Hey, uh, I found a dead body. That's not funny, Mark. I'm serious. You mean like a dead animal? No, I'm pretty sure this is a dead guy. That's unsettling. Uh, I'll call the cops and they'll come check it out. Can you give me the precise location? This is some sort of building after the cave when coming from the dam. It's just before the Bergman tunnels. Yeah, I know the place. Anyway, I'm sure the cops will figure out what happened to the guy. Just continue on to the tunnels. All right, if you say so. Well, unsettling seems like a bit of an understatement. This place still has power, too. Well, let's document this, I suppose, for our own records. Yep, broken just like everything else in the city. If that person died there, who covered them up? That's my question right now. Uh, but is there any way for us to actually get upstairs? And presumably the staircase would be uh, behind one of these covered doors, right? I don't know if we can actually get up there. We'll have to look around and see if there's a way to climb. Oh, there is more. Okay, okay, okay. Gonna need more batteries soon. Yeah, yeah, I know, but they're actually kind of sparse for the moment. I don't remember batteries ever being too big of an issue for me, but this is really this is really pushing the limit. I mean, I feel like I just barely have enough to keep going. Oh, there is something here. So this building did serve an infrastructural purpose. That looks like another geocache. Come on. Another geocache. Yeah, thank you for mirroring that exactly. This one either. That's going to be a running gag, isn't it? 
One complaint about this game is that some of these are so hard to read, I do wish it would give us, like, some side thing in plain text. Nothing seems to be working in the tunnel anymore. Almost all of the flood doors are stuck and have missing valves. Surely Robin must have hidden them somewhere around here. We've heard that name Robin before, haven't we? Fortunately, I'll be retiring soon. Then Robin can deal with this mess on his own. I can't wait to see his stupid face when he hears about this. Eric. Oh, we heard about Eric as well. That's Eric Kleinman. He worked at the... at the dam. Alright, well, we have some sort of control room here. Ooh, and a computer we can use. Uh, if the light is on, you can open the tunnel door. Oh my god, this is going to be complicated. Remember, turn the switches to match the right color code. Well, right now it's on blue. So blue, we need A1 down. We need A2 right, okay. Yeah, actually, if we look up, it says open, do not use this. Uh, so the recommended one is automatic. So what we actually want is yellow. Okay, so we want U turn to the right, A1. Uh, B1 should be down. I basically did the exact opposite of what I needed. B2 down. Uh, B3 to the right. C3 to the right. And D3 down. D4 down. There we go. But what's on the computer? Nothing much. Not anymore, anyway. Almost out of batteries. Yeah, yeah, I got you. But I'm still not quite sure what that even opened. Oh, and I almost forgot to take the picture of this. Yeah, I gotta remember to take pictures of the documents. I believe they're actually uh, counted separately from other secrets and destructives. Hmm. This looks climbable. Can we get down onto this here? Maybe there'll be something here. No. Need to find more batteries for this thing. Oh, I actually don't have any camera batteries. How did that happen? All right, well, we've just got to find some more then. Hopefully more will show up along the way. I am astonished at how few we're finding here. But it's really going to cause us issues if we're not able to backtrack. Anything to see? I'm just checking through all these bushes to make sure there's nothing along the coast that we can walk by. There you go. So none of that was really optional. Yeah, we need... Uh, I need to photograph that. But it doesn't look like we're getting in through here. I love the contrast in this game, you know? Like, it, it doesn't adapt a dramatic setting when you do something like find a dead body, you are still on the job. Even in the face of a discovery as horrific as that, well, you're still surrounded by the tranquil sounds of the same nature you've been exploring. The old Bergman water tunnel. Let's see how this place is doing. I wouldn't get my hopes up. Yeah, me either. Try and find ourselves some batteries and see if we can back out. We're not going to be able to back out of this, I don't think. Alright, let's try climbing up here. Because it looked like there was some space we could maybe shimmy over on this side. My favorite in this game. It's so hard to do. Oh, actually... We could hop up and over, or... Yeah, no, we can't get up onto these rocks, okay. I hope there's a way back. Ow. Ow. Let's take this as carefully as we can, jackpot. This one is empty, too. Who the hell is leaving these around? I don't know, but uh, at least I have a sense of humor, I guess. All right, well, now we're on the wrong side of the river. Uh, remind me to watch The Mummy again. 
and I cannot see what else there is. Uh, we can come back this way, maybe walk along the rocks, or maybe that's not a good idea. We could probably drop down there, uh, but I want to see what's this way. Hmm, somebody's camp outside. You know, it looks like they were planning to stay for a while. Certainly used up their entire supply of beer. Although, knowing the characters in this game, that doesn't really do anything to provide a time frame. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can actually go this way. A pack of ah, there we go. The Thank you. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that we can search these cabinets. Uh, what about these over here? All right. No matter. That'll oh, tide us over until we get into the tunnels. Let's grab you, sir. And that comes for the inside as well. Put it away, because I'm pretty sure it does passively drain just from you having it out. And then there's some other damage up this way. Uh... Where was it? I know there was damage on the wall. Uh, should probably get that. Sure yep. not meant to be like that. And there. And right there. Oh, that's a good start. Yeah, you're telling me. But now do you see why I was so insistent on not leaving here without taking pictures of all this? I would have hated to leave all that behind. But we've really got to keep a closer look at for these things. I think I'm finding more than I was before, which is why I wasn't having so many issues when I played. There we go. I think by the end of it I had like 10 out of 10 on all of them. Uh, that's the limit for the number of batteries you can carry. In fact, his dialogue, and I hope we'll get to hear it in this playthrough for when you're full, is amazing. Ah, oh, great, more puzzles. Well, here we are, making our first foray into the infamous Bergman Tunnels. Why are they infamous? Well, if you know, you know, and if you don't, you're about to. Uh, this is the one thing I have no problem googling, because I'm not going to figure this out on my own. Alright, uh, Robin. If you've lost your keys again, you need to open FB12 and... Wait, TCRH? Oh, and turn on A2, B1, and C3. Open FB12 and turn on A2, B1, and C3. A2 is here. A1 is here. C3 is... But what was this FB12 you were talking about? Oh, it was A2, B1. Alright, there we go, and there we go. And that should now be restored. Okay, the ambiance is starting to get a little bit more Lots uncomfortable. Batteries. Yep, uh, and the flashlight batteries are not going to be so kind to us either. Yeah, this stuff shouldn't just be laying out like this. Uh, any other structural damage that I can see? This seems okay so far. See, I'm trying to balance this with, I know that these darks are really dark and you can't really see, uh, but also I'm strapped for batteries and I do not want to be left unable to light my way. A pack of spare batteries for the camera. That's good. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here's some instructions on how to navigate this place. Looks pretty complex. Uh, floodgates. Some of the buttons don't work, and the floodgates are in very bad condition. Don't go here. I think I know what you're referring to. And unfortunately for us, we are going to be going there. Uh, here's a map of all the things that are broken, and some other points of interest, too. Eric. Okay, so I'm getting the impression that Eric is Robin's more competent co-worker. Uh, flooded areas, brick doors, tunnels in bad condition. Uh, missing some keys, of course, from the break room. And the exit all the way at the end there. 
Yeah, a, ooh, a blocked door. No idea what's behind it. Interesting. Well, let's take a picture of that for reference, which we cannot use because I don't believe we can actually look back at our pictures. Uh, you need to reset the controls after using the levers. Robin, fix this. Uh, spoiler, Robin did not fix this. Okay, but what what is it that I actually have to do? Oh, well, there is a door right here that we can probably should be able to open, but we can't seem to. So that is now on, 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 and on. Uh... Well, we did something. I hope it was something good, but somehow I doubt it. Uh, well, you're opening, so that's something, right? I hope I didn't screw anything up. It's entirely possible that I did. You are not opening. But we have a way through right here. Uh, any getting back here? Yeah. These doors might be working now, but we can't actually access most of them. Oh wait, maybe the fact that this is broken? No? Uh, we're gonna be real selective with that, are we? A uh, noise area may cause hearing loss. Use proper ear protection. I'm wearing a helmet. Hmm, this door still sealed. Is this maybe the one where you said you have no idea what's behind it? Mm -hmm. And there's that bricked door. The way that light filters through makes this a real spooky location, doesn't it? Oh wait, can we move this? Oh, it's blocked by a crate, but we can't move it. Look at that. This dark, grimy, moldy, narrow tunnel. <sighs> That's the kind of hallway that you look down and it just makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. Not to mention it's got all these gaps in the middle where you just keep thinking you're going to see some shadowy figure peer at you from all the way down and then disappear off to who knows where. There's so many things we should be reporting here, but I don't think any of it really counts. I do not like turning my back to this doorway. Crouch under the cobwebs. The ambiance is certainly stopping to let me know that I'm somewhere I shouldn't be. This door has been removed from its hinges. That door will open. As will this one. Okay, we're in the break area. We've got the door A2, D4. He said that some others are still missing. Ooh, there's another tape recorder. The Bergman Group was a great company founded by Eric Kleinman and Xander Berg. Kleinman was a founder. I'd say that company played a big part in rebuilding the city. But somehow, Walter managed to take all the credit for that. Anyway, Xander Berg was a vital disappeared, the Bergman group started having trouble staying afloat. Ultimately, the other shareholders forced Kleinman to sell his share of the company. He became a broken man. Now Kleinman clearly needs someone to guide him. He's a great man, capable of great things. I need him. Interesting. You were in business together, but I'm not sure Kleinman exactly shared your ideas on what caused all of this. Even if he himself may have held some resentment for Jeff Walter. Alright, well there's a lever here. We'll probably have to use that for something. No, put that away. We need to say battery. And there's our key. And there is our pump. 
Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to look around at what else we have to work with. Wow, this is very, very extensive. But I'm betting we need to drain that in order to go down there. That makes two packs of spares for the camera. Okay, well now I'm drowning in camera batteries and can't find any flashlight batteries. And those are the big red ones. This loops back around. Alright, well I guess we try it then. That is taking a while. There we go. Uh, now what have we actually done with that information? You're still where you were. And remember, anything like this, we may not be able to get back once this thing closes behind us. Okay, you seem to be remaining open. But this area is really badly flooded. Yep, we're gonna want a picture of that. Nothing in particular, you just, you know, a picture. Uh, thank you for having decent lighting here. Because I really can't be messing around with this. No key for you. Oh god, look at all these valves. Alright, this is going to be really complicated. Puzzles like this, I find, are best saved for... Well, when you've already mapped out the place and you know what you're trying to do. Uh, what about this over here? Ah, we rejoin the center stack, the main tunnel. Oh, and it's another one of these things. Wait, no, 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 we want you all on. Another one fixed. Yeah, so it's really starting to look like somebody's sabotaging these water flow monitors. I mean, all of this we should have been able to know about remotely, right? But we just didn't? We didn't even know that the dam was, A, in that bad of shape, but wasn't even connected to the grid? I mean, how does something like that fly under the radar? Well, we've got these buttons off to the side, and I can see that there's different colored cables coming out of this. One... Oh, one, the blue one comes out over there. The yellow one goes to this, so if these are both set to yellow... Still won't work. We need to figure out which is which. Oh, I see. These tags right here correspond to... So it's not all a code. It's the name and then a code. So S1U, that's E2. And then S2D, 4 and 5. And now you should work. There we go. All right, there was a little bit of a delay. Made me think I got it wrong, but we got it in the end. So this is our next little hobby. I see you all the way over there. Tunnel B2. That is our objective. Okay, now if we wanted this thing, Robin, don't climb on the roof again. All right, so got it. There's something to be found on the roof. Uh, can we pick up one of these chairs or something to do that with? So if we do E1 and E3, that can remain down and we can push that and something is oh that's lowering now but we still can't unlock that door maybe we can raise this thing ah and use that to climb up perhaps I don't see anything I can stack so it's worth a shot right if we do that and come over to here yep, dip, 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 dip. there we go this was his personal spot, huh? And then we can drop down and go up and over and not unlock this. So that's a pickle. I hope I'm not locked out of progression. I have saves. Yeah, this was this was not I'm going to load a save. I don't think this is right. We're going to mess with this first, because I don't think I can come back from the other side. Thankfully, there was an autosave pretty much right before I climbed over. Yeah, this is too convoluted to not be important. Valves up here as well. And 
And this door is locked. Hmm. You can't turn off the water sensors when all the pipes in the room are closed. So do we need to open them? Do we need to make sure they're all open? All right, well, what I'm seeing, let's divide this into groups. B5, A1, and A4 should all be closed. But it's a huge pain to actually get back into here once you're up here. Oh, and that doesn't look good. Need to call that later. Yeah, more than that. So you're probably A1. Okay. And then there, there are certain things that you can't climb on and you really should be able to. Uh, A4 is over there then. So that'll be that right there. And then I'm just going to check the panel to see if this behaved the way I think it did. Come on now. Seems to be working the way I think. So it's all about where the pipe enters the wall, and then you've got to follow it back. There's A3. And now all we should need is B4 and B5. Uh, but I don't know if I've seen any B, or no, C4 and B5. Alright, so all that's left then is C4, B4, and B5. But, oh, uh, I guess that's enough. Alright, and there is our camera batteries. I mean, flashlight batteries. Uh, misspoke. Robin, stop leaving important technical documents wherever you decide to have a break. I'm tired of going through the premises looking for them. Those are important documents. We're not going to be able to use these old systems if we lose the documents. Don't lose them. Yeah, about that. But anyway, I started going through those Bergman documents I found. There was some news article about Xander Berg's disappearance. And something about Eric Kleinman's father, Edward. Oh wait, this Eric is a different Eric. I think the most interesting thing was this note about Alex Hartman. It seems they wanted to find Jeff Walter, and they even had Mikhail Rosenthal, owner of Stahlberg Steel, with them. I know Jeff Walter was well known and even considered a good man, but I think Hartman knew something about Walter that no one was supposed to know. I don't know if they ever found him, or what happened to them, unfortunately. Now, I don't know about you, I'm probably going to end up getting a better idea uh, in editing. But I think part of the reason I've forgotten so much of this story is because of how absolutely bad with names I am. I mean, it's thrown a lot of these names at me over different time periods, and I am having a little bit of trouble keeping track. I bet, though, that the room we were just in can be accessed by putting this in and opening the door at the end of the hall. So let's just uh, drag this thing up back to this platforming nightmare. Just deposit you right there, and here's a moment we are, where we are going to be quick saving. Because I don't know if we'll be able to go back this way. Actually, this seems like a moment I should probably Google. Alright, you're gonna stay. But I, I just, I, there's a very specific set of things to make the thing that I want to happen happen, and I want to make sure I do it right. That's the only thing. This door, these doors will actually, a lot of them will open. Oh, wait, 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 I think I just caught a glimpse of something. Yes. A key. Oh, this is exciting. I've heard about this, but I've never actually done it in-game before. If we open you, will you start to fall down again when we're done? Uh, you will, and in fact, I remember having a tremendous amount of trouble with this place, but that B2 door is open. Wait, but there's no... there's no thingamajig. Just to make sure we see everything, I am going to use copious amounts of quicksave magic to try and see what's over here. I, I gotta wonder if there aren't certain paths that are, like, mutually exclusive. Because I've noticed that the achievements for each type of collectible, they mostly tell you to get 90%. So maybe it's not actually possible to find anything, or everything. 
Or maybe they're just being nice, I don't know. That's not gonna budge. That is the collapsed tunnel they were talking about. Yep. I feel like Mark is almost like, I've assigned the role of co-commentator to several video game protagonists. But I feel like Mark is a much more downplayed example. He's a Captain Obvious, but so am I to an extent. That makes two packs of spears for the flashlight. Definitely gonna want this. Eric Kleinman. I got some evidence of Xander Berg's disappearance from a reliable source. It appears to be true that Jeff Walter really did kidnap Berg. He needed him for some secret project. Mayor Altmeyer either didn't know anything about it or he was lying. But the governor might know something, because he supported Walter's secret project before Walter disappeared. We need to get some information out of him. There is also that cop, Max Caller, who's leading the investigation of Walter's disappearance. He might actually be one of Walter's henchmen. If that's true, he probably knows where he's hiding. Well, this was all in the 80s that you tried to figure this out. If that's the case, it clearly didn't go well for you. Ooh. We can turn on one of these flood doors we can open. Just one. Well, we can open D5 and get across that way. And we can open that key as well. Hang on, what is this? Uh, D4. Wait, is that what we just opened using that other key? Uh, hang on, I don't know if I've ever... I don't know if I've ever done this before. Do that. You're open. And you will slowly come down. No, 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 no. Elevator to the surface. You'll give us no such thing. But maybe you can be opened? I don't know. Either way, it's an alternate path to get us right back here. I'm gonna try Googling again, but it's annoyingly hard to get a straight answer as to where I'm actually... This actually is the B2 tunnel. This is the B2 side, wait. Oh wait, we can actually use the ladder to climb down right here. Yep. Uh, and there's a newspaper. Bergman Group's shady downfall raises new questions. The bankruptcy of the Swiss-based underground construction specialist has taken yet another strange turn with accusations of substandard working conditions and work quality. Stolberg's freshwater tunnel project halted. Who will take care of the tunnels in the future? Alright, so let's try and piece together a timeline of events here. So in 1977, Xander Berg announces this new technology that will revolutionize this industry and then immediately disappears. And then three years later, this company files for bankruptcy and is basically like in a hostile takeover by Jeff Walter who starts this project and then immediately like runs it into the ground essentially. So this was never even really like completed or maybe it was completed, but in a much reduced capacity to what it was supposed to be. And it seems like that's the story all up and down the river. This guy comes in, takes charge after the place can no longer complete its goals. And then this guy just seemingly drives it to failure. So here's a hidden fuse in the storage room. And full disclosure, I am Googling all of this because I this is the one thing I'm going to do this for because I really want to make sure that I do not miss it. We need to bring that over there somewhere, but I am not quite sure where the fuse panel actually is. Now, allegedly there's meant to be a code on this here calendar. Oh, there we go, huh. It almost doesn't look like text that's meant to stand out, but new B2 code 4027. We're doing it. 4027. Alright, I think we do still have to trigger the event that happens here. There you go. And we're going to want to bring this thing with us, so yeah, we are going to get a show rather than skipping it. 
I'm having such a hard time googling just the right amount without spoiling anything for myself, but yeah, we just came from B2, and we want the elevator to the surface, so I'm really confused here. Alright, uh, floodgates B1, B2, emergency override. Hmm. I don't exactly remember what I'm supposed to do here. Well, that doesn't seem good. Yep, nope, none of that's good. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's real bad, yep. Uh, get them open how, though? That's what I want to know. Oh, this looks like it'll probably work. Raise that up, raise that up, raise that up, raise that up. Come on now, take your time. There's that. Uh, but what do we, what do we do now? You and you? Does that do anything for us? Does that, I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, you too, you too, you too. Go on, go on, go on. Uh, I probably should have want, done the one closer to my exit first. I remember being stuck on this for a while. I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to be doing. Here we go. Oh, that's no good. 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 Not so good. Now what? Now what? Now do these have to be pressed? Go, go, go. Oh, stuff's falling. Stuff's falling from the sky. What about you and you? Nope. This just says wait. I'm gonna wait right here because the clearly collapsible thing isn't there. Okay, there's that. You're open. Uh, we need to uh, blah 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 info main uh 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 oh oh four five one oh four five one enter and there we go. That was way too close. At no point was I ever super sure why one thing was leading. To another thing. Ah, oh, but you got a scratch on that wall. I better document that for my job that I'm good at. And there is an open door. Okay, I'm starting to see this now. Alright, I think I've got it from here. So normally we would take this elevator to the surface. Uh, however, we're not going to do that. Uh, we are maybe going to jump down there to look for Easter eggs. Yeah, there's the keypad, 0427, <laughs> and if that's not it, we can check tape. That leads back here to where we can place the fuse. Yes, this is awesome. Come on now, please, just let me place it there. Kind of got to yeet it in there. And there's a document. Hans, I hope you haven't forgotten the code I gave you. I talked to some guy at the pumping station. He told me not to go in there. He also mentioned that he's been exploring the tunnel. Apparently there's a cave full of green mushrooms somewhere. We should go find it. I'm going in to see if this tunnel's safe or not. It's probably fine though. So meet me inside. Lucas. So I guess they did finally go on their expedition. But the note is left behind. All right, moment of truth. It's either 0427 or, no, oh, come on, or 4027. There it is. I think I have flashlight batteries. We're gonna need them. And our only achievement is just three question marks. This flashlight is doing nothing for me. Oh, I think it's low, actually. That's not much better. 
except for what's immediately around us, this is like totally dark. Let's hug the wall. I can't see a thing. Yeah, the splash light does nothing for us. And keep in mind all the work we had to do this. Like, it required so much backtracking and such. There's pretty much no way you could possibly get all of this on, like, a first run. Like, it is so unbelievably unlikely. You have to, like, solve puzzles. You don't even know you're solving. And by the time you would, everything that would enable you to do so is already locked off. A little bit of ambiance for a moment. And then we're right back in silence. I'm just clinging to the wall, so I have the vague comfort of seeing those loudspeakers on the wall. Do you feel the tension? The ambiance is slowly building almost imperceptibly! I, I just tabbed out of the game. I just tabbed out of the game, Jesus. Okay. We got another one of those type of scares. Oh, my heart. Okay, we're waking up here now. Oh, we didn't even we didn't even reach a conclusion. It's it's just that. And here we are waking up in a closet somewhere. Well, I guess we were rewarded with more flashlight batteries. That's three packs of flashlight batteries. Four packs of flashlight batteries. Well, now you guys understand the reference when I pick up batteries in a game now. Uh, I need a second. Well, this being this channel, let's collect ourselves by taking a moment to explain why that still got me, even though I knew what was going to happen, and in fact I've covered that easter egg on this channel before. But there you have it, quite possibly the scariest video game easter egg ever. And why it works is because it really allows you to stew in this. It makes you work for it. You're not just going to stumble onto it. And if you do the work of trying to figure out what is behind that mysterious door, the multiple layers of mysterious door, because there's the locked door, and then there's the keypad after that, so it's like, if you're trying to dissect this, imagine you're a player in the early days of the game. The more obstacles you encounter, the more intrigued you're going to be. And the more you're going to be running into these notes, these plans, saying, don't go in here. All the talk from people, almost, almost in hushed tones of writing, speaking about what is or isn't beyond that door. And pretty much everyone just agreeing to leave it alone with no more specifics than that. And then when you get through, when you finally put all the pieces together, what are you greeted with? Nothing. Literally nothing, just a seemingly endless hallway, no windows, no nothing to the outside, no power despite the rest of the facility having it. And then as you go, your dread continues to build. I should have seen something by now, right? Did I get turned around somehow? And then what I experienced just there was by the time the ambiance has reached a fever pitch, I haven't even noticed it ramping up. And then just suddenly out of nowhere... There it is, but as soon as it enters your vision, black. And here you are, no follow-up, no acknowledgement. Oh, good lord, there's a reason that even people who don't know Infra know about Morco. But we've got more, we've got more things to look at. Please don't do that. I'm pretty sure that's not meant to be like. I love how I just had the thought that, okay, this tunnel's about to collapse on me, and then I turned around and went back to get the picture first. That's dedication. That's employee of the month worthy. We can go through this flood door. 
Hmm. Or we can go down this letter. Oh, I do not like shimmying along this. I just don't know what's meant to be the way forward. There's so many paths. Oh, there's another one of these things, too. Uh, let's flip all you up. The water company should pay me for this. Yeah, they really, really should. This whole section has collapsed. No, no. Decades of potentially deliberate neglect did that. And possibly Steve Urkel. We can open this, but I also want to shimmy along the pipe, kinda. You're not gonna fall? Oh, wow, this place is in rough shape. But isn't it just gorgeous? It's not good. Isn't it, though? I mean, sure, it's probably bad for the whole city, but... I just love how this game is able to find so much beauty and decay. That's how much effort is put into these locations. It rewards you not just with the things you find and the mysteries you uncover, but sometimes it just rewards you with a nice view, and I really wish more games had that attitude. Five stacks of flashlight batteries now. Yeah, you're just drowning me with them. Raft is ready for another delivery for the distributors at the open sewer leaving for the long and dangerous journey when the raft can be fully loaded. Hmm. So I guess this tunnel is being used for beer smuggling. That's... impressive. Actually, very, very impressive. And that is not good. Okay, so we are going to go back and walk along that pipe. This doesn't feel very safe, but usually things like this have some kind of goodies waiting for you at the end. Ooh, a lot of goodies, that actually. Two packs of spears for the camera. Robin, I know you must think I hate you. You make a lot of mistakes, and I have a short temper, and I tend to give you a hard time about it. But I just wanted you to know that I think you're all right. No hard feelings, right? I mean... We're probably... hang on. We probably spent more time arguing than actually working. But we've had fun too, haven't we? Remember that time when we ate the mushrooms? <laughs> Good times. Anyway, the reason I'm telling you this now is because I'll be retiring soon. I know it may not be the best timing, and you're probably pretty pissed about hearing this. It sucks leaving you to work in this cold tunnel alone. But I'm getting old, and I'm sure you'll understand. Promise me you'll keep this tunnel working. You know how important the tunnel is to Stahlberg, even though no one seems to really care about its condition anymore. They get their water from the tunnel, but they don't give a crap about the shape it's in. But you and I know this tunnel better than anyone. That's why we have to tell someone who actually cares about this place. I know you have your gripes with that power plant guy, and he's always giving you crap about your past mistakes. But you need to work things out with him. Because he's the... he's the one taking care of that power plant. That's important too, you know? I hope you'll understand. And don't worry. I'll come visit you sometimes. That's another thing about this game, I suppose. It's got a real appreciation for just what it takes to keep a civilization running. About how important these things are that most people don't tend to think about in their day-to-day -day lives. It requires a lot of work and a lot of dedication and a lot of smarts. I mean, you know, none of this stuff was here when people came around. It all had to be built. It all had to be planned. It's all so complicated and... It's all by the wayside. All this must have come after their time. I just wish these notes were a lot easier to read. Next time you make a delivery, don't trust that idiot Matt with distribution. He's already in great debt to us. Yes, this is the same guy who ruined my, my logging business. No wonder he now lives in open sewer. He deserved it. 
what we're seeing, even if it's not always clear, is the overlapping layers of history. This is the toilet. I just realized this is the squat bucket. <laughs> A lot of thought goes into these environments. Is this a makeshift sauna that I've discovered? Why am I not taking a picture of this? Surely someone should know about it, surely. Then again, why shouldn't I keep it? Oh wait, I think what I just got a photo of was this, yeah. This is a long, long tunnel with a whole bunch of stuff along the way. Advising me not to go in one part, but man, I can hardly read any of this. Well, let's go. I actually do remember this part. And I remember it being really, really difficult to control, so bear with me, please. Oh. Yeah, it'll sort of move towards the direction we're at. There we go. Reload the camera. Pack of batteries left. And here we are on our riverboat segment. The light on the front is going to have to do. Come on, steer, steer, steer. We need a lot of lead time to make this work. If we touch anything, we sink. And there we go. And there's a lot to see while we're at it. Please, no hit. There we are. <laughs> Now this is efficient infrastructure inspection. Let's miss this. Let's make sure that we don't hit anything. In a place like this, I half expect the G-Man to come walking out onto that balcony. Crouch down. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Please don't step on me, ceiling. Nope, 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 nope. I hope I don't actually have to avoid that, because there's no way I can do it in time. There we are. Yep, we cannot afford to be lazy here. There's a lot going on. Oh, uh, why would we put ourselves through this? Mark, you've been pretty sensible up until this point, calling the police when you found a body, not trying to interfere yourself, although you maybe should have waited for them to arrive. But hey, maybe the society is just so utopian that there's that much trust in people. Oh, who am I kidding? This entire game has been spent on the fact that that's not the case. Oh, don't ask me to do this. Is this actually true of, like, real city waterworks? How they'll actually go through, like, natural cave systems? Like, is this something that would actually exist? Ow! I, I guess I hit something. Well, at least there's checkpoints. But the geometry here really does not complement the controls. Okay, let's just keep ourselves just barely off the left side. I think that'll be our best bet. But then again, easier said than done. We can't turn the nose of this thing. Nope, 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 nope. And believe me, it gets more complicated. This, I think I remember being like my least favorite part of the game. There we are. That door on the left appears to be broken. So we'll need to take the right. Oh sure, now we start seeing some openable doors when we can't actually access them. This feels like being on one of those riverboat rides at Disney or something. Like, any moment now, a bunch of little puppets are gonna start appearing all over the side, singing It's a Small World. You know I got stuck on Small World one time? You know they don't stop playing the song when you get stuck on Small World? Back into these, and it's getting considerably narrower. Ugh. The overcorrection is just as likely to kill you as the side you're trying to avoid. Nope, 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 nope. This way. Well, at least I don't have to report on the natural structures of the geology. 
Actually, I haven't heard from anything in a while. Right this way. You gotta make sure you don't hit the thing behind you with the back of the raft. Oh, good, a checkpoint. Uh, but it also means more of this in the next level. Keep you steered properly. This actually sort of reminds me mechanically a little bit of, uh, of the cave section towards the end of A Scanner Somber. But unfortunately, we don't have the luxury of relaxing like we did during that. But if you look ahead, you'll see that maybe we'll get a similarly pretty picture out of it. And my voice is starting to go all raspy. Maybe that's a sign that I've done enough recording for tonight. But I want to do two episodes of this. And here's our first look at those green mushrooms we've been hearing about. Oh, I thought there was something, like, moving over there, but it seems like they give off some kind of, like, gaseous substance. Oh, never mind, we actually did get a moment to appreciate it. You know, they may be beautiful, but uh, if they are giving off some type of substance, maybe it's not good uh, that they're all over the main artery for the city's water supply. Then again, that artery seems to be clogged at the moment, and maybe that's for the best. Now, we cannot go over there and see if there's something we can read. Actually, I think by... Yeah, yeah, we're definitely dead. 100%. Yep. We didn't start soon enough, and so we're guaranteed to die no matter what we do. But meanwhile, you have to be very, very close for the camera to actually count it. There we go. Start moving, start moving, start moving, start moving, start moving. There we go. Even more over here. Sort of suggesting, I guess, that uh, not all of these beer shipments made it. Hey, Daddy. I saw you there. Uh, nope, 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 nope. It's a good thing none of these things are caved in entirely. Are we going to be able to get that? Like, if we go down that way, can we turn enough? There's going to be a photo finish, no pun intended. There we are. Now we've got to start moving to the left. Left, 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 left. I don't think this is going to work. I have no faith in this. Nope, nope, nope. How, how are you supposed to do that? Try and get it from here. Thank you. Now steer left. Steer more left than that. And here we find our destination. Finally. Steer right a little bit more. And daylight never looked so sweet. Well, at least until the next time I find myself saying that, which probably will not be too long from now. Let's just beach this sucker. And I call that a perfect landing. Oh, but this place is all overgrown. Lost batteries. A lot of stuff piled up all around, but at least the gates are open. And I'm going to assume this water still kills me because we have to walk over these beams. But clearly things are not all well here either. Well, let's start unpacking this then. Now, where do we go first? Do we want to crawl through here or go upstairs? I think we take this level by level. And this place has clearly seen better days. Is there any part of the city's infrastructure that actually has someone manning it at any given time? Nope, batteries. batteries for the camera. Uh, flood, con flood doors alarm control panel. 
We got a new version of this piece of crap. It's way better. I'm sure, and I'm sure we'll be getting acquainted soon. This does not count as a scannable document. Uh, notice, this can only be used when the generators are turned on. Alright, so we've got to go do those, and then come back here. This door is actually blocked. And this door just ain't gonna open. Hi. I feel like that's the second time I've been jump scared by that face somewhere. Any batteries for me here? That makes there we are. Of spares for the camera. And we've got plenty for the flashlight still, but I'm gonna be stingy with them. Eric was, oh, Eric was injured yesterday because something went wrong with generator G2. Parts of the ceiling collapsed over Eric. He's in the hospital now. We should have fixed G2, but they're closing this place down permanently. Don't turn on generator G2. Noted, good thing I found this first. Look at this. Oh, I do remember this. This actually inspired an area on the Minecraft world I have with my cousin. But look how beautiful this is. Even, even this rotting symbol of a city's corruption can still be absolutely gorgeous. And we can get through here. Still four packs left. That steepled roof. This whole ceiling collapsing. Actually, it wasn't even the ceiling. This was the floor to the floor above. Just think, this was once like a hallway in probably like the administration offices for this place. Imagine coming to work every day, walking through here, this sterile work environment, and not having any idea what it would one day be. This is what I adore about urban exploration. Now look, I knew that was going to be here. Covered it in a video once, but... This is still one of my favorite soft jump scares ever in a game. You just... You're appreciating the beauty, you come through, and just there it is, right in your face. Not a threat, not even a real thing. And instead of a scare chord, just a little bassy beat. Beautifully executed. Oh, um, and by the way... Does he look familiar? Ah, uh, gate key. Excellent. Ooh, there's a whole area back here. Looks like it was once the employee break room. If these tables and chairs are anything to go by. Some considerably less threatening mushrooms. Uh, maybe we can... No, we're not going to be able to climb this up to anywhere. And I guess none of this is our problem to report. And we are not getting through here. Shame, because I would have loved to explore a place like this further. Now, how are we going about this? Oh, wait. I think I see another one of those monitoring stations right there. And there's a propped open door back this way. I think I'm getting confused by the fact that this is so much higher than the other one, so I lose track what floor I'm on. That door over there is Tunnel B2. Maybe that art was made by somebody who was trying to come see it. An acolyte of some sort. but it doesn't seem like we can actually push through for ourselves. Aw. But maybe there's a way to actually turn on these lights? 
I'm noticing a door without a lever over there. Can't get through here. And can't get through there. I just realized there's a pair of boots sticking out of the mud here. Uh, so maybe it's too late for this life preserver to do anything. Imagine if it didn't float. Uh, should I maybe report this to someone? The relevant authorities? No? Okay, I guess. I think I can walk through the middle here, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize this door over here was actually open. Uh, floodgate one. And we can't actually get to here unless we can do... some sort of something, yeah. Let's go. You be... I really need to look up in this game. That's what I'm realizing. If I don't do that, I'm not going to accomplish much. Oh, now we've got that. That is not turnable. This, however, will probably be worth something. Entry. A maintenance log. Nothing new. Generator G2 broken. And we're talking the 90s here. Robin is breaking things. God. I'm trying to fix the G2. Fixed it. <laughs> Robin did it again. They're closing this place down. So apparently Eric has written plenty of instructions for Robin, but he just ignored everything as always. I wonder if he ever saw that note. I have no doubt that the accident with the G2 that sent Eric to the hospital was caused by Robin's idiocy. He's always breaking stuff and ignoring safety regulations. Now he's pissed off and even more dangerous after I confronted him about my suspicions. They're definitely closing this place down soon. I'm just glad I won't have to put up with Robin's reckless behavior anymore. There's that JK again. Uh, I wonder, is he just an idiot, or is this possibly malicious? I'm having a hard time believing he'd manage to be employed at every place down this river, and somehow stay employed. Alright, let's try this door at the end of the hall. There we go, as expected, that's our main staircase. Uh, but it's not taking us far. That is so weird. Look, the exit sign above that bricked door, overgrown with vines, is still lit. Imagine being here in the middle of the night and seeing all that. Ooh, is there something... Hmm... <laughs> A bunch of beer bottles placed into funnels. Now, all amongst the mushrooms. I guess, uh, I guess they stopped caring a bit once the place was announced to be closing down. Alright, we've got plenty of flashlights still. But there's that damaged piece, which I suppose was never sure right properly reported. Okay, so what was it? It was G2 is not working. So we need to make sure that that doesn't get turned on. So, I'm gonna make sure, just to make sure that I understand this correctly, we can override one, yep, G2 will be overridden. I'm gonna pop a save here, for sure. So let's do G1, G3, G4. G2 should be overridden, and then we throw the switch. There we go. And that is fixed. Excellent. Well, uh, I guess people in the city are probably already starting to notice better things by now. Oh, look at that. The way all those years of, like, caked on dirt and mud have formed, like, an avalanche coming out of that door. Well, we can't get a picture of that. It definitely looks cool. Uh, but let's step out and see what's going on out here. Also, I wonder what would have happened if I hadn't fixed it correctly. That's the thing, there's so many different results we can get from the things we do here, and I wonder how it'll actually affect the outcome. Okay, this elevator is actually working. For now. And I bet, yep. 
the monitoring is switched off. There we go. Oh, wait, 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 camera batteries. That's three packs of camera batteries. Excellent. I just love how, like, each place is a puzzle to be solved in and of itself, but all we need to do is make our way to the other side. And it's all up to us just how deep we want to dig. Oh, wait, I didn't even notice this. There's another one of these things. Well, I sure wish I'd waited until after I, or before I turned on the generator. When I founded my company, I was sure that it would be successful. But when we started building the Two Gorges Dam, problems started to appear. We didn't have much money, and the project was very expensive. I did my best to reduce the cost, but the damage had already been done. Then Stahlberg Steel went bankrupt. It was one of my company's major clients. After that, our revenue shrunk to almost nothing. Eventually, I had no choice but to sell the company. I was about to close the deal with a man who could have been able to save the company, but he backed out at the last minute. My only option was to sell the company to Jeff Walter man whose last two business acquisitions had resulted in bankruptcy. Of course, I had my doubts about the acquisition, but I figured it would be better than nothing. Little did I know that it would lead to such an unsafe living environment, and ultimately the death of many innocents, including my wife and only child. somewhere. I'm going to find him and make him taste his own medicine. Interesting. You said that you were about to sell to someone who was anyone but Jeff Walter and they backed out at the last minute. Maybe they were threatened? Okay, I'm starting to think there may be more to that than I was giving him credit for. Now, about all this, uh, Bergman Systems, uh, what do we do here? Got that, Systems On, Warnings 2, uh, Settings, Flood Doors, Flood Doors Red Button, System Green Button. So, Flood Doors, uh... Turn lights green. Absolutely. So that opens those. B2, B2, B2. Open. Something this game does that's kind of interesting that I'm not sure I've ever seen before is it actually has a staggered autosave system. So you can actually load the last two autosaves instead of just one. Once again, this tunnel has a bit of a spooky reputation. Yeah, no wonder, but I guess there's no accessing it from here. Maybe we shouldn't be breathing this stuff in? No, no, we actually shouldn't. Wow. Robin, I just found our green mushrooms in a book. They're actually pretty well documented, and weirdly enough, Stahlberg is pretty much the only place where they can grow. They were actually first discovered while building this tunnel. Now the sewers and other underground places are full of these very poisonous mushrooms. They're known to cause hallucinations, strange behavior, and even death. That's right, hallucinations! I'm grabbing as many of these as I can possibly carry. Eric. Ah, so I guess they didn't have the worst relationship. <laughs> that is so funny. This game's just got so much character to it. Even while you never actually meet most of these, well, characters. Whoops, almost forgot the picture. Go to flood doors, A1, A3, B3. Uh, change them. And then we can turn off in the event of an error, but we don't want to do that right now. Okay, so what did that do? Oh wait, this will open now as well. 
had noticed this. Yeah, a lot of this game is like just keeping track of things that you've seen so that you'll know later when you can go back and revisit them. Uh, okay, we can walk out over here. Is this actually where we're supposed to go? Uh, what's progression and what's not? What's progression and what's not? Oh, uh, this thing just like never arrived, I guess. So that counts as broken. Well, I guess that is our only way out then. Well, so long, this place. You shall honestly be missed. It's one of the more beautiful areas in the game. Uh, oh, we have the key, so that's excellent. Or we could just go through here instead of dealing with this absolute death trap. Uh, well, actually, I guess... I guess we kind of have to, don't we? Yep. Oh, this is going to be so difficult. Stop that. Yep. Uh, uh, oh, come on. This is probably my one big criticism with the game. Uh, this game has platforming. It does not have good platforming. It's extremely stiff. You have no idea where your feet are, and you'll get caught on things a lot of the time. Yep. yep. You don't come out from under me. Nope. 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 Doesn't help that there's all this overhanging rock that stops your jump. Yeah. And yep. And yep. And yep. And yep. We made it. Uh, but we haven't quite made it yet. Not even more of this still. That's not photographable from here. I hope there's, like, an easy way back, because I don't want to run this way. Great. Not only is there no way back, there's no way forward either. Never mind. Hoo-hoo. Imagine my fortune. That didn't count. There we go. Only two packs left. Yeah, we're going to want to keep an eye on that, but look. This has all just been like blown open. That's three packs of camera. Good thing batteries. the battery survived. Oh wait, there's a lever here. Ah, I see. Restoring power and getting us through. I have five packs of flashlight batteries now. Not the most pressing concern, Mark. Look at all this. This area must have been marked for, like, demolition. Or I guess they were blasting through the caves, making a new tunnel. Okay, document as much of this as we can. Well, I guess this is the incomplete branch. Interfering very much with the completed one. Hey. I need you to bring me some dynamite from the tunnel excavation site. Don't ask why, Hartman didn't tell me either. He seems to be on the right track about Xander Berg's whereabouts, though. So let's just do what he says. After you bring me dynamite, Hartman wants to get back to spying on Max Kohler, the police, the police officer. He might know where Jeff Walter is. Sooner or later, he'll meet up with Walter. Don't worry, we'll be able to pay you more when everything is done. Eric Kleinman. Yeah, maybe... Maybe you had more faith in him than I thought. Do you really just use the flash in this absolute bloom fest of a cabin? Four packs of camera batteries. Okay, maybe we should wait a bit to mess with this. Let's get back to where we were before we start playing around. Yep. Yep. That looks like... an explodable. Doesn't look like everything went well here, so Hartman was in charge of this blasting project alongside the Bergman tunnels. But why would he do that? What was he trying to uncover with this? I think I already pretty much know what I have to do. I'm not quite sure how to do it, but I think we're just gonna YOLO this thing. 
There we are. This seems a little bit close. But let's do it. Run, 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 run. But I also kind of want to watch. There we go. Yeah, that definitely wasn't far enough. Uh, and perhaps we shouldn't have left more dynamite just kind of sitting around here to go up in a chain reaction. Here we are. Do you think I'd get fired if it was made clear that in the course of my inspection duties, I was triggering explosives in highly unstable tunnels? But here we are. This all looks so much newer. It's so new, in fact, it was never completed. But I do see a fuse over here. All right, we're going to keep that in mind. That's the thing. The puzzles in this game, you tend to start collecting pieces before you even know that there is a puzzle, which is why you have to keep an eye out. Nothing in that box. Oop. It's going to demand so much platforming of me. So many movable boxes, so little time. But I guess, yeah, the goal is most definitely going to be to get across here. So we'll pick you up and move you perhaps to right thereabouts. That should get us to here. I can see some rooms beyond the windows over there. You are a toolbox and not another fuse. More boxes. And some destruction. Yeah, someone, but not me. Ah, and we can already... No, 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 we can't. Yeah, you already used that line. Okay, so where do we put a fuse to enable us to deal with whatever nonsense that is? Oh wait, there actually is another climbable right here. Oh, but perhaps... Yep, perhaps it's exactly what we need. Well, this certainly calls for a save. I'm going to put it in slot 4 since nothing much happened. I don't want to stagger unnecessarily. Don't see anything back here. You know, the presence of these planks sort of implies that they were actually using this pathway. I'm kind of starting to see why people had complaints with working here. Yep. <laughs> well, I suppose if one of them was going to break, that's probably my favorite. Bergman Group begins work on the new freshwater tunnel. This is 1979. Completion expected in 83. Of course, we know that it wasn't to be. Oh wait, Green War, the new tunnel is a mistake. The tunnel will cause multiple problems. The water level of Lake Stahlberg will drop noticeably. The groundwater along the tunnel's path will be affected, which might have serious consequences, says Greenwater spokesperson Daniela Golbis. Greenwar, Greenwar has opposed the tunnel project right from the beginning. I see. So the reason Alex Hartman was so tied up in this was because this tunnel was also going to contain hydroelectric plants built by him. Alrighty, so will these doors open? No, of course not. Why would doors open? Doors don't open Six for me. Packs of flashlight batteries. Uh, and what about you? You will. But there's got to still be more to do down there, I'm sure of it. There is something there. Hang on. If we can find something to break that window with... And of course, pick are never very pick when I need to. They're everywhere, and then the second I want one, they all just skedaddle. But I know there's a way in. This looks like a way out, 
and therefore not what I want to be doing at the moment. I just can't go two feet without finding a collapsed tunnel somewhere. This way is really dark. Yeah, but thankfully it's not going to be another Morco scare. Five bags of... So we're going to open this door over here. I grab that. Bags of flashlight batteries now. Uh, nothing else around. Wait, is any of this photographable? Should probably photograph the mushrooms down there, right? Oh, it's a regular green light. I'm going to be seeing those things in my sleep at this point. Tunnel is closed. A new water tunnel is under construction. Keep out. Sign can't stop me because I can't read. Huh. And I can see why you needed a new one. Someone should get that fixed. Uh, are we going to be able to crawl our way through here? I hope so. But where does this lead? I mean, if this just leads me to the other side of that locked cage door... I guess that counts as a new cave-in. Ah, fuses. So let me guess, one's gonna be close, and one will have to be found, right? Well, that opens that at least. And gets us... to a very long tunnel that I didn't know existed previously. Ah, and around to here, thus making the other, the jump side entirely pointless as far as I can tell. That door ain't gonna open. Oops, some barrels down there that shouldn't be there. But how do we go about getting ourselves over to that side? Oh, there's another fuse right here. Okay, well I guess I see the point of those catwalks now. This is the slow but easy way, which is crawling through that tunnel. And then there's the boards, which is the fast and hard way. There's you. That's all four. Uh, this door is now open. And that is what gets us to the other side. Okay, cool. Uh, question is, what do we do now that we're here? I mean, clearly we can climb this. Is there any reason why we'd want to do that? If we do you like this, then maybe we can come up here and up here, and gain access to you guys, and then, I guess, sit in a bucket, as all people dream of? Or we climb over there and then walk along the pipes. Let's try that. Uh, so if we come up here, what is that I spy here? Nothing much. Uh, but we can climb up on this side now. Yep. So many problems caused by a simple locked door. But we made it. And now that the power has been restored, we should be able to access some of those things, right? No. You are still not open. Why? What about the thing up here? I wasn't able to hit any of those switches down below. There's a door here that I also cannot open. Tell you what, we'll look around under the assumption that it's not just going to slap us with a loading screen out of nowhere. Because if it does, we're probably going to miss some stuff. Here's something that probably warrants reporting. Switch out those batteries. Yeah, you know, we're actually somewhat battery secure for now. And fuses, which means we ain't done yet. Okay, so how are we gonna go about this? Answer, right back here. We're gonna go up and over. I could probably just keep uh, rotating these boxes out and use those to walk along this, but this seems fair bit easier to the observant eye. And actually, I don't know how you could have not seen this if you have the... Uh, if you have found them. Uh, but this is only gonna get us so far. Hey, Teddy. What are you doing up here? I'm just gonna take this from you. Is that okay? 
Mm. I'm actually going to take that other one and bring it up here. There's actually four of these things missing. Uh, from here, can I actually yeet you guys into... Nope, that didn't work well. We're not getting that one back. Uh, what about you? Yeah. Okay, well, at least we got to Fonz one of these things. Yep. And shut you off. Okay, and now we can get you back. Maybe right here. Dynamite storage and storage. Ooh. Each of you has your own thing, but we can't swap you out. There's more of these to be found then. Well, there's one right there. Okay, so when we switch this on, we'll gain access to that stuff, but uh, we're gonna have to platform to get out of here. The upstairs is our freebie, but we're not always gonna be able to rely on it. Come on. Oh, hello. There's some boxes of dynamite over here. This cave-in, I think, was quite intentional. These boxes here, and some more placed further down there. All our ducks should be in a row to somewhat safely traverse this place. Let's just put you here. And after a quick save, let's light this thing up. There we are. Now the question is how we're actually going to get into that room. Probably going to have to start swapping these things out. Jumping is not really an option here because the ceiling is too low. Move you a bit closer then. You a bit closer. We're going to have to go one over the other. Yep. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Why even finagle the physics? The door is open. Why assume that it's going to... Why well, assume that it's going to close when I turn this thing off? I can probably just open this thing up slowly, right? So we shut you down. I will check in here. And I bet there's a flash. No flash! I mean, fuse. Uh, point is, well, there's about to be some kind of flash. Now, I don't know anything about dynamite and what might set it off, uh, besides everything. But it doesn't seem good to have all this sitting in a pool of electrified water. Oh, and a key. Key to gate. Well, that's our ticket out of here. We very notably did not get a fuse, but we should be able to open these things now. Uh, some batteries. I will take them and another fuse. All right, we are good. Uh, but we're not totally good until we get down here. I found that whenever you're solving one puzzle in this, you're probably solving others as well. Interesting. Now let's find out what's so interesting. Uh, tunnel Report A32. First of all, the new tunnel excavation site is putting the old tunnel in danger of collapsing. Explosions have already caused several fractures on the walls and ceiling. One maintenance tunnel is completely collapsed because the new tunnel is being built to replace some part of the area where the old maintenance tunnel was. After the new owner stepped in, Jeff Walter, the tunnel construction has almost stopped and several workers have been moved to other projects. There have been numerous complaints about the working conditions and the probability of a strike is high. We don't have a lot of money left because some of it has been allocated to other projects. The whole tunnel construction is in danger of cancellation. The new hydroelectric power plant construction is also close to termination. They were demanding answers, so yesterday Alex Hartman came for a visit. We explained to him that we're having some technical issues with the tunnel construction. We need some advice on how to proceed with the project. Okay, so that was a lot of work for... Man, mostly stuff we already knew. Oh, come on. Where'd it go? Where did it go? Uh, the finagling gets real finagly when you ask me to handle two physics objects at a time. Hopefully we'll be able to find it in the water. I swear if that thing glitched into the floor. Here we go. Oh my god, I would have been so pissed. Alright, uh, get in there. And... 
I've just got to get that last one. Zip zap. I mean, I could try to save time by making a run for it, but that's not something I really want to risk. There we are. And we just have to be able to peek out enough to get that door open. Yep. There we go. And now we are done. Now let's see what's going on in this C5. Well, more climbing, apparently. I can never quite tell what you're going to want me to report. Back into the ceiling again. Ooh, there must be something up here. Something that we wouldn't have gotten if we had gone below through the gate. We could drop down here, or we can keep going and find more camera batteries. That's well, that was worth it. Batteries. Let's just open this thing from the other side and progress on, I suppose. Look at this. Yep, the other side of the same thing. Seems like this has been a hangout spot as well. I have five packs of camera batteries now. Well, at least we're doing okay in that department these days. But I think we're reaching the end of all this. Yep. Which hopefully means we never have to look at a water tunnel ever again. And level transition, which I think is finally going to be a good place to end it. I've been recording almost three hours now. I really should have split the recording at the uh, at the last plant. Chapter 4, Heavy Industry of the Past. But we are not going to be doing that right now. Instead, that will have to wait until next time. I'm going to try and space these out better and get shorter episodes. It can just be really hard to gauge how long an episode will come out when you have to keep stopping to figure out puzzles, so I know that there's a lot that's going to be cut. But until next time, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Because piece by piece, we are going to blow the lid off of this thing.